Well, a 52-year-old man from Maine is the first to undergo an experimental amputation. If it's successful, his brain will be able to control a robotic prosthesis restoring natural movement. Dr. Malika Marshall takes a closer look. Jim Ewing broke his ankle and several other bones in a rock climbing accident two years ago. It was incredibly painful to walk, uh, even just a few steps. Uh, I never knew if the next step was going to be the one that kind of ended my day. The ankle didn't heal properly, so four months ago he underwent a pioneering amputation at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. The surgery preserves the normal signaling between the brain and the muscles in the remaining part of Ewing's leg. It will enable the amputee to control a prosthetic much more intuitively intuitively by activating muscles the way they normally would. A team at MIT created a robotic prosthetic for him with motors and sensors that provides the same range of motions as a natural leg. This means that Jim will be able to point and flex his prosthetic toes as well as turn his ankle in and out. Ewing is expected to have his new high-tech prosthetic in the next six months. It should make walking on uneven pavement much easier. Walking in the woods, walking, stepping off a curb will be much more natural and um, require less energy. For now, Ewing continues to use a traditional prosthetic to walk and go rock climbing. He says being part of groundbreaking work is a big reason he volunteered for the experimental surgery. The doctors, in return, named the procedure in his honor. And this is really only the beginning, Paula, because they said that this technology could be used for upper limbs as well. And they're hoping as time goes on, they'll make it smaller, more compact, and they might be able to add other joints. So maybe a toe joint to make it easier to like push off and to jump, as well as possibly a knee for people who have above the knee amputation. So this is the first time they've been able to do this with a leg. Right. And you were saying it, it's eventually going to integrate the muscles with the machinery. With little sensors that are going to be implanted into his muscles to re really communicate with that prosthetic and with the brain. Thank goodness for Dr. Super Boston. Cool. <laughs> All right, Malika, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Liam?